Eagles defensive end Chris Long is headed to his second straight Super Bowl. Chris is also known for his charity work and activism off the field. He was asked yesterday if his success proves players can balance activism and football. Long said players are really good at doing that stuff. They're great at time management and we can effectively still do our jobs. For years and years, players have been involved in stuff off the field, whether that's toy drives at Christmas, turkey drives at Thanksgiving. Nobody seems to ask any questions about those things. That's part of giving back to your community. Well, this is a way of giving back to your community. Shan, do you agree with Chris? I agree with everything Chris Long said. I, I love Chris. Uh, he and I communicated occasionally on text. <clears throat> uh, means Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know his dad really well. His dad was great with me. I made a Pro Bowl uh, with Howie. Skip, you know what this is about. They're talking about, oh, you can't do both. No. A black quarterback. This is Colin Kaepernick. What's happening? Because think about this, Skip. Walter Payton Man of the Year. You know what it represents. For the people at home, it goes to the NFL player that does the mm -hmm. a voting panel. What player exemplifies the charity work on play? And he's awarded NFL Man of the Year. And it says, well, quarter, yeah, well Chris Long can do that. And Malcolm Jenkins can do that. My, uh, uh, Butler can do that. Quarterback can't do that. But let me hear a few names and let me know if anybody ever questioned their work ethic. Drew Brees was Walter Payton Man of the Year. Kurt Warner, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, Dan Marino, Troy Aikman, John Elway, Boomer Sison. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever questioned their desire, their ability on the field? Did anything suffer by, by what they gave back to the community? Absolutely not. So this is oh twenty three. This is this is my, has everything to do with Colin Kaepernick, and I'm glad Chris shot this myth, this mm -hmm. stereotype down. Yeah. Because here's the thing, Skip. Why do why did this, the uh, uh, the people of New Orleans embrace Drew Brees? Drew Brees arrived in New Orleans in 2006. Hurricane Katrina happened, I think, August of 2005. Mm -hmm. He immersed himself in the community. Not one person say, Drew B, stop trying to help these people in New Orleans and get the football. You're, you're wasting too much time. Yeah. You see what it is, Steve Skip? Yeah. If we like the call that you represent, take as much time as you need. Mm -hmm. But if we don't, it's taken away from your other job. We see. Mm -hmm. Great congratulations. And another thing before I go, Skip. You know, they came out with this underdog. And so he and... Uh, I think Lane Johnson, it was. they came up with these T-shirts, and, you know, they're going to sell them, you know, get the money to the community. What happened, Skip? Oh, NFL said, hold on now. We're going to get on this train, too. We're going to make us a little money. Chris Long goaded them into it because at first they weren't going to give this money to charity. Chris Long said, why don't y'all do what we're doing and donate the proceeds to charity? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> So, we have discussed this issue for many months on this show. A oh, year and a half, you and I. Yeah, a year and a half. And one point you continually made to me, as did others on our panel, that the movement needs a white player to stand up and, and give full, total voice and support to mm -hmm. it, right? Yep. And I wish Chris Long played quarterback, but he does not. Mm -hmm. But he's still Chris Long, yep. still Howie Long's son. Mm -hmm. He still played for the Super Bowl champion. Oh, they go, Patriots. hold on. You can't be an activist and go to the Super Bowl, can you? He did. What about make the Pro Bowl? He got Malcolm, back, yeah. Because Malcolm Jenkins and uh, Michael Bennett made the Pro Bowl. As I... And by the way, Malcolm Jenkins, <laughs> you, you want to talk about donating time to a cause? Mm -hmm. He spent hours and hours of his downtime, as his off time. Yes. Because it is your time. That's right. Your free time. Right. Right. That's what athletes are able to do, Skip, because as a professional athlete, you got to be able to budget and manage your time. Yeah. Okay. Football practice, meetings, film study. Okay. I got a block of time here. Now, what you do with that block of time there, because I can assure you, when Tom Brady was on vacation with, with Giselle and the family, he wasn't worried about what defense the Pittsburgh Steelers were going to be in on third and five. Yeah. So stop saying, oh, all they do is think about. No, they don't. They have other time. They have time to think about other things mm -hmm. and the really good ones and the guys that are active in their community, this is what they do with their time. So this operated on two levels, teams looking at Colin Kaepernick as a potential franchise quarterback, not a backup, but mm -hmm. a, a longtime starter in this league mm -hmm. that they, they're saying, could he be the face of our franchise? Mm -hmm. And we get back to the age old issue of 
Can he be Tom Brady? We just talked about Tom Brady says he'll spend four and five hours at a time, click, click, mm -hmm. click, going back and forth because he just likes it. Right. He, he just gets off on watching film. Right. You know, it's what he does. It drives right. it. Right. Would Colin Kaepernick cut into his film watching time to be the face of a movement? Okay, that was one issue that operated, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that fair? Is that I? I no. I, because Dr. King was still a full-time minister. He was. He didn't protest and march every day. Yeah. So he still had time to protest and march, but he also had time to deliver his sermon. Okay. So. So speaking of Dr. King, to me, big picture is I stepped completely back from all that I've witnessed for the last year and a half. This ran several levels deeper. This ran to the captains of the industries, the older white men mm -hmm. who run the companies that buy the most ads on National Football League telecasts. Correct. Deep down, gut level inside them, there was a fear factor of Colin Kaepernick. Like, ooh, he's becoming big. He's becoming... Almost untouchable. Yes. That, that he's a young Dr. King or a young Jesse Jackson, or maybe they're looking at sort of a younger Al Sharpton. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I just got the drift of this. That's my gut feeling. Well, you know, when you were yep. covering the league, mm -hmm. they had, they would always get rid of that guy that they deemed mm -hmm. the locker room lawyer. Mm -hmm. They would always get rid of him scared because hold on now, you, you, you trying to, you trying to tell the guys that they should hold out. They should ask for more money. And this is what you should do. We got to get you up out of here because you yep. caused the problem. So at one point, Colin Kaepernick was <coughs> quoted as saying there's power in silence because he's gone fairly silent right. over, what, a year's time or so? Yes. There's also threat in silence because when somebody doesn't speak and you're, he has thinking? a mystique about him, uh-oh, what's, what's going on over there? What's he got going? Mm -hmm. what, what's happening? Where are we heading with right. all this? So I think he instilled fear in the powers that be to the point that they finally said no. We're out. We, we, and it's not just about how much time he's going to donate to a cause or whatever. But Chris Long was trying to say something between the lines. Mm -hmm. He didn't go into the lines. They were. It was between the lines. Mm -hmm. But I just appreciated what he said yeah. because he is exactly right, and we all know between the lines who he was talking about. Mm -hmm. That guy. Yep. Who did become the face and the leader of a movement? And God bless him. I hope he continues with his activism yes. as he goes into his second career. Yeah, but we just we just need to stop that narrative that, oh, they it's, football is just a 24-hour job and no. you don't have any time to do anything else. I named every guy that I named, every quarterback has been to a Super Bowl. A lot of them has been to multiple Super Bowls, and they were Walter Payton Man of the Year for their play on the field and what they did in their communities off the field. Mm -hmm. And no one, I guess no one will ever question the dedication and the drive that these guys put in mm -hmm. to their teams. Yeah. But, Skip, you know, if we, we, if we, don't, we don't like something, we'll find, it's kind of like the draft. A guy can have 100 grades, but you know their job is to try to get you down to 95. We got to find – you can't be perfect, Skip. Mm -hmm. So we got to find a reason to knock you. Mm -hmm. So, Kyle, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, Kyle, we like you, but this is going to take too much of your time and you won't be able to devote, you know, the five hours to the film study and then – no, we, 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 we're just going to say no. Well, that narr narrative is <clears throat> honestly offensive if the Walter Payton Man of the Year award even exists yeah. to me. Don't give it out then. Right. <laughs> Good point. Because what, 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 what are you giving these guys? What, what, are you, what, are you them, what are you giving them credit for? Doing things in the community, but it's only the community that you uh, care about? Don't, don't give out the award uh, then. Right, as, as I, hey, Skip, I told you that if I like the call, that, Skip, I want to protest with you. What you <laughs> protesting, Skip? Oh, can't do that. Food to the animals, I'm with you. Mm. Save the whale, man. I ain't, I ain't going in the ocean. Mm. Hey. Not my you see, problem. You see, how, you see how that work? Is Isaiah Thomas the problem in Cleveland? We'll discuss that with Chris Broussard next. In a world that